Trust me, these men are going to come out. And the disrespect that Cristiano Ronaldo has shown this club, not, none of these fanboys don't chat to me about this club legend thing, bro. It ain't my legend. Yeah. I told you, man, already, blood. He gave his best years to Real Madrid. I don't care, innit? This bread don't love the football club. He's never loved the football club. I've told man already, his, man United was always a stepping stone to get to Real Madrid. Always, He looked bro. Fergie, man. He looked <clears throat> Fergie, not United. I've always said yeah, that. But, yeah, one. but him and Fergie got blood ties, yeah, because it so happened that he lost his dad at a time and Ferguson was there, yeah. man. You get me? There you go. So them man have, them man have a bond, in it? But he don't care about this football club. No, like, he bro, don't. he tried to leave this football club, yeah, more times than he spent years there. Don't get it twisted, bro. That bread every summer it was Fergie's begging Ronaldo to stay for one more year. Yeah, begging him to stay. All of this, fly to the fucking Euros to beg him to come back. All of this, bro. This bread been trying to leave. Been trying. Yeah. To and footballs are what. And the thing is, people. That's why people need to realize is football is a business. That's why I don't get emotionally tired. That like you can love someone who's at your football club, but when the time's done, the time's done. Is it as he tarnished his legacy for me? Yes. Because he didn't I need to go by like this. Yeah, he didn't. Saeed, he didn't need to. He could have went about this quietly and privately. I say this all the mm. time. Anytime something becomes public, that's when it becomes a bigger issue. Anything can get dealt with in-house. But mm. it was so tactic. The guy was... I don't know if you've seen the video, yeah? My mm. man was sitting or standing behind Elando and then man coming on. It's almost as if he's trying to, like, double-cross the manager. He's standing behind when they're making the substitution. And mm. then he walks off after they come on. Like, bro, this guy, what are you doing? Mm. Yeah. Like, honestly, bro, when I see the video, because obviously I'm watching it from above here, yeah, and people are saying, yo, when's Ronaldo coming on? I'm like, yo, we don't need Ronaldo. And I'm telling people we need to keep the intensity up. It's true, though. Yeah, Ten Hag didn't him bring him on. He's, he, he, Ten Hag did not bring on Ronaldo because he thought, you know what? I want to make sure Tottenham are on the back foot and they're not they're not having no rest for 90 plus minutes. And mm -hmm. he's keeping that same. When Elanga came on, he was pressing. When whoever came on, Tommy played on the right hand side and still had that energy. When the manager wanted to keep a, a, a principle, we press every single minute. And that's what we did for 90 minutes. When Aldo comes on, it's a bit slow, it's a bit lethargic. We go into our shell, Tottenham start to control the ball. It sends the wrong message because then you go into the Chelsea game and we were yep. lethargic for the last five or so 12 minutes. This is a manager that likes fine detail. This is a manager that likes to do everything his way. So bringing a Ronaldo, just, it doesn't go by what his principles are. I'm sorry. And then he walks mm -hmm. off. Nah, man, I'm sorry. It's for me disrespectful, man. Disrespectful, it's, it's, it's disrespectful to the club, it's disrespectful to the manager, it's disrespectful to his teammates as well. It's disrespectful to the people who did back him as well, fans of his and all fans of the football club as well. That don't help. I'm like, I keep stating it. That's a great performance we put in there, one of the best. Mm -hmm. And we're building something, and all of a sudden, now because you can't be captain, you trying to put a halt to that, you trying to pop the you trying to pop the tires on on, on the bandwagon. Why? Why? You know what I'm saying? Again, when you can be a part of something that is successful. Bear in mind, nobody wanted you and we still didn't throw you out. We still Facts. You know what I'm saying? And this is twice this has happened now because nobody wanted him in the summer. This summer just gone. And when we signed him from Juventus, nobody wanted him. People conveniently forget that. There was nobody else in for him. City were interested, yes, but there was no official bid made. And this just sums him up. Like I said, model professional. We should be happy to have him or not. But eventually, the, the mask always slips. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All the time. 100 percent The mask always slips. And I think for me, it's been there, it's been hovering. I think the summer, when I went to that preseason game, he got booed when, when his name got brought out. He got there was a few section of fan base that booed his name. I think that was probably the, the, the kind of downfall. And like I said, yeah, he couldn't find a football club because no club at this minute wants to make a team revolve around one player at his age as well. Like you're not gonna do that. When the when the game is now such play that sort of fast like you know tempo and you know you've got different styles and different philosophies to build it around Ronaldo, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen in this day and age now. It's not even Sport and Lisbon didn't want to bring him back. Atletico Madrid said it wasn't possible, and they don't play the most amazing style of football. Bro, <laughs> you know I even mean? heard that Port Sport and Lisbon didn't want him. See that, and, and look at the teams we're talking about there. The also ran teams in the Champions League. We're not even talking yeah. the top teams in Europe. We're talking Atletico Madrid, yeah. who may not make it through their group. Sporting Lisbon, who may not make it through their Champions League group. All right, Napoli are playing well, but these are not your Real Madrid's, Bayern Munich's, PSG's. Like it's not the top yeah. top. He's not dining at the top table no more, and he can't he can't handle that. That's where this stems right. from. Because I was watching, obviously doing a watch along. I'm watching the game on mute. I could see that the ground was rocking. You was there, Saeed. The yeah, tempo bro. looked electric. 
And I had the TV on mute. And I'm like, wow, that place is rocking. Just like the tempo Manchester United were playing at. And things are going well. But yeah, here we go. But, but like but I said, you know it is. hopefully it yeah. is. Yeah. And I think for me, he, he doesn't like the fact that the manager has been praising Martial and saying, oh, we need him and et cetera, et cetera. He, he doesn't like that. Obviously, he'll see them quotes and he won't like it. And he'll want yeah. it to be about him. And I feel like for me, that ego around the dressing room, you can't have that. Yes, there's players that will always respect him, these these, these Sancho's and whatever Bruno plays for him. But ultimately, I think they'll be thinking, right, my left us in that moment when we were probably the best performance we ever had here yeah, in a long while. And my left, come on, man. I think if I'm if I'm a player in that dressing room, I'm thinking differently of Ronaldo, whether he's a goat or not. I'm thinking, yeah. right, in that moment there, you turned out, you turned your back on us. Why? I'm sorry. You don't do that. We're supposed you to be a team. Man, what can what can he justify? How can he justify that? You can't Seriously. justify that to the players. He can't, he can't justify that, man. You left us during the war. We are mid battle. You know what I'm saying? And that even though we're winning, we are mid battle, and you've left during that. That can I keep saying this. That can only be a detriment to the team. It doesn't help anybody, including himself. Even if he does want to move and he wants to leave in January, how he gets his move in January is by playing well, being a modern professional having an impact on the pitch in a positive light, and then maybe you get your move in January. It don't help, not in the slightest, not in the slightest. But like I said, I'm glad, props to Ten Hag, because the way he's dealt with this situation, the Maguire situation, I've loved how he's ruled with the iron fist, 110%. And I like where this team is going a lot. I really do. Shouts to Eric Ten Hag every time. Yeah, and, and I think, think that's what he needs the most praise, Ten Hag, because he could have easily be like, yo, man, but I don't want to... I don't want to disrespect the, the, the United fan base that love Ronaldo. And, and ten you know what? Shit, well, ten That's what I'm saying. He said it when he came in here, when they said, yo, did you speak to Louis van Gaal? He said, listen, I'm my own man. I do what I want to do, innit? Man don't care about it. He don't care about Man United's past. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't care yeah. about anything, bro. Like, he came in when the man was talking about Liverpool and that man said, listen, era's come to an end, bro. He doesn't care about <laughs> anything, bro. He doesn't care about anything, bro. He just cares about himself, bro. He believes in himself. And he cares about the job at hand, bro. It could be Man United. It could Facts. be any football club. He doesn't care, bruv. Like, he's here to do a job. And he understands that he's judged on what he does and how he does it. So he doesn't give a shit about nothing else. Yeah. All the small minor details and that Ronaldo, all this, he doesn't care, bruv. He doesn't care. Yep. Facts. And that's what I love 100%. about it. Hey, ruthless, bro. We cook Tottenham in, in a manner that Tottenham ain't been cooked before, blad. Not in a long time, bro. Do you know what I mean? Not by no yeah. club, bro. Like, what we done to them was violent, bro. Do you know what I mean? It felt like... Yo. You know when we lost 2-0 to City? That's how it felt. <laughs> yeah. I know it was a 2-0. It's like it was a slow death. It was death right by a thousand cuts and that, bruv. That's what it was. Yeah. 